Hi, how's it going? This is Chris with Metal Master Kingdom, and today we have two members of Kill Devil Hill, Mark and the legendary Rex Brown. So, how's the tour been, guys? Great. Good Absolutely stuff. Absolutely awesome. So, growing up, what was your big influence to get into music? Is it something that your parents sort of brought upon you, or is it something that you got into on your own accord? I just started digging the rock and roll, man. I mean, you know, I heard Blizzard of Oz when it came out and basically turned my life upside down, you know, Randy Rhodes doing all that badass stuff, you know, and even now it's timeless. So Absolutely. I was in, living in a small peanut town in uh, Texas, 74, and I heard Tush on the radio, B.B. Top, that's all she wrote, AM radio, baby. Good stuff, so how did you guys come to the form Kill Devil Hill? Vinny had these drum tracks, and basically we all got together. Uh, he and I got together, you know, working on those. They were pre-recorded for download, so we started kind of writing ideas with that, and then brought Dewey in. He started throwing some ideas on the demos, and then looked around for bass players, couldn't find the right guy until somebody mentioned Rex's name. We sent him some stuff, sent it back, and it Dewey. hell, it was magic. <laughs> hey, Dewey Bragg, lead singer gentlemen. of Kill Devil Hill, right Come here on. now too. There he is. <laughs> Cheers, people. <laughs> So for all of you guys, uh, is there any one musician in particular that you looked up to or aspired to be growing up? Absolutely. Uh, I think John Paul Jones for me. Oh, okay. For sure. I like Randy Rhodes a lot, but I mean, there's a lot of guitar players, certainly. I yeah. mean, yeah, Paul McCartney. You know. Okay. Elvis. <laughs> really? Oh, no, yeah. actually, I, 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 like, uh, I like Jim Morrison and Chris Cornell a lot, man. I think okay. Chris Cornell's one of the best singers out like there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. There still is, I think. So there are a lot of new metal bands in the underground up and coming. Are there any bands in particular that stand out to you or that you think quite highly of? No. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of good music. There's a there, lot man. of bands so that I do yeah, like, but so I don't want to single out just one, you know? Cause a, there are a few diverse bands up there that you like. But, all hell the Yeti. <laughs> Yeti cool. Yep. So you guys have toured with a lot of bands <coughs> before and played at uh, different concerts and festivals. Is there any particular tour or festival or concert that really stood out in your mind? Well, we just did uh, With Full Force over in Germany like a couple of months ago. And it was a hey! Had a great time. We got another Look added who guest. We just found. <laughs> Devil Dog. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. Devil Vinny. dogs everywhere. The Godfather. That's he fucking goes. The Godfather. You gotta get some milk. That's right. Don't get without milk. Look at that high cam, that high def cam we got there. 70 50H. Now you got all four guys. Come on. That's pretty incredible. Oh, yeah. Good. Growing up, what bands were your biggest influences? <laughs> That's here, man. I want to hear. You. Your answer? Oh. You want me to answer that? One? Yeah. Sure. Up on your Let's up on Jimi Hendrix. Uh, nice. Blue Cheer. Beatles. Beatles. Yeah. Beatles. Good stuff. If Bobby you... Leatherlungs. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys could tour with any band, either contemporary or from the past, or from the past, who would it be and why? Wow. I'm I, Zeppelin. I was just about sure to say Led Zeppelin, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Bad company, free fucking. Uh, yeah. I'm sure with Kiss. So. The original Leonard yeah. Skinner. I'm sure with a lot of people. Like okay. This guy. I'd do Black Sabbath so I can play in both bands, make twice the <laughs> Jesus. Very good. So, is there anybody good that likes to pull pranks on the road? And is there oh, anyone? No, uh, no pranks at all. Never, Never. nothing. I think the bet. Well, Vinny's always getting everybody. He's always pranking everybody, right? And there's no farting allowed on this. Tour, no, I don't know. So, oh, really. so one day, I was getting my passport, right? And uh, filled the stuff out. We sent it off and got it back. <laughs> I got it back about four weeks later. So I called Vinny. I opened, it, I opened the letter up. And I was like, OK, what can I do to prank him? So I called him. I said, Vinny, you're not going <laughs> to believe this, man. I got denied my passport. He's like, what? He's like, yeah, dude. Screwed. He's like, you're kidding. I had him going and going. I was like, ah, I'm just kidding. He's like, you son of a bitch. Because <laughs> I saw Canada go down the train at that point. Yeah. I know you got denied a passport. We would be <laughs> the two of us got fucked coming through customs. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And I'll... So if you guys weren't yeah, musicians, what do you think you guys would be doing? Is there any hobbies in particular that you guys are very passionate about? 
This is all I know, man. Nice. You know. I would, I would, uh, uh, I probably would be working on aircraft engines. Oh, really? I love that shit. Okay. You start I'd be in a professional boat. He would be pilot here. He would be yeah. flying them. Oh, okay. So, was there any doubt in your mind growing up or as up and coming musicians that this is the road you wanted to take? <coughs> you know, you knew this right from the get go that this is what you wanted to do and there was nothing going to hold you back? What else is there to do? Absolutely, that's the right attitude to have. What's better than making people happy, man? Absolutely. Right on. Putting a smile on people's faces every night, you know? <coughs> that's what it's all about. Or getting them kicked out. Just kidding. <laughs> and, um,. <laughs> growing, growing up when you guys were in school, uh, were you guys ever criticized or picked on for listening to a different kind of music than what other people did? No. Uh, oh, okay. No. Why did you? <coughs> <laughs> Why would you ask a question? What, get criticized if you're in school? No, just for the type of music you listen to, because you know. Oh, I did all the time. Oh, really? Oh, Dude, yeah, I sold weed to the hippies, I sold them to the fucking jocks, I sold to the, you know. I got thrown out of the school band, but that was not it. Oh, me too. What complained to you about? I started using pyro in the school band. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did get kicked out of school because I was taking, uh, what was it? I was taking uh, some shop class because I had to have the credit. Okay. I was like, oh, I'll just take this, uh, I think it was, oh, it was like electric or something like that. And I was back in the back. I, I never really was paying attention to what the class was doing. I was always in the back, like, I was building little like cannons, you know those like little bombs you put gunpowder in, you plug <laughs> it and go poof like that. <laughs> I did that in class and I got ex Blow it up. got in trouble for it. <coughs> it Ted awesome. Kaczynski. <laughs> so as a band as a whole, how does the writing process come to fruition? Does some does uh, the guitarist come first with the tracks or drummer come first with the tracks or how do you guys get the Anything goes. Going? Yeah, anything goes. We wrote two songs of soundcheck today. Yeah, we, <laughs> we did. We'd only have a Zoom recorder. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Mark's back. Appreciate it. We can record it. Sorry, man. Hard exactly. to. I'm endorsed by Mr. Microphone, so I think that they're going to bring us a little recorder. <laughs> there you Mr. go. Mr. Microphone. <laughs> so over the years, how have have you guys found that your writing style has changed in terms of what you guys do or what? You know what? As, as far as I'm concerned, the bands I've been in, we do the same thing. Black Sabbath, Theo, we get together and there's just that combination of yeah. ingredients. Right. Exactly. And we're all on the same page, you know. Oh, okay. Because it's a great band. Puts our little, you know, spice into the gumbo, so, so to speak. Okay, good stuff. Yeah. All right, it was a pleasure yeah. interviewing all you guys. This is Chris from Metal Master Kingdom. Yeah, Chris! Yeah, <laughs> thanks, sir. Right thanks, on, buddy. brother. Hell bent for pleather. <laughs> right on. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, too, buddy. Ha, ha, ha.